Filipino artists tend to overlook. No? Uh, there's little regard given to articulating uh, one's theories. No? So uh, oftentimes it is left to be critique. Uh, I, I think one thing we need to be aware of is that most critics do not have the eye of the artist. So uh, they're good at sorting things like, ah, your style is uh, similar to this, so you are a social realist. So ang gagawin nila is to sort kanila. But they don't really look at your work uh, seriously enough no? to scrutinize the, the nuances. What makes your work work? No? Bakit effective yung trabaho mo? Like, uh, si Orly, no? Orly can uh, paint a, the same subject as another artist would, but why would Orly's work stand out? No, so it looks be him. Most critics are not sensitive to those nuances. No, yung mga yung yung the way it is executed uh, distinguishes the work of an artist. No. Uh, kaya nga, I mean, uh, out of thousands of works, only a few will come out. Dahil there is a particular quality in your work that that makes it stand out. No? Now, like in, in my case, uh, I have always admitted na one of my weaknesses is uh, my craft. No? I'm not that good as a painter. No? I always struggle uh, to make the paintings look good. That's why it takes a long time. No? So parang, uh, I'm not happy with the uh, immediate outcome and then I keep working and reworking it, uh, uh, the painting until until I I find that okay na siya. Hindi tulad ng iba, konting uh, ano lang, hagod-hagod lang. Yarina, no? Yung ganon. Uh, not so with my case, no? And uh, I, I used to envy artists with so much mastery of their craft. But then I realized na that's why I love painting so much, no? It's not so much because I'm good at it. It's because it, it affirms who I am. I guess you might say I have gained a certain level of mastery as far as my own personal style is concerned. No? So, parang uh, kahit na it's obviously the product of, uh, you know, uh, parang struggle, constant wrestling with the canvas and all that. Um, but then that, that really becomes the quality. And that becomes the distinguishing uh, identity of the work. For some artists, that's why they don't paint every day. Dahil, because of the predictability of their process. So, para tipo, nakakapahagod na eh, you know? it's, it's so, you know what's going to come out. No? And you know what to do. So, each step in the non. Uh, Mari makaroon ng monotony. No? Uh, in, in spite of uh, how traditional uh, and uh, how long painting has been around, no? you'd be surprised you still learn a lot of new things each time. No? And uh, siguro, uh, sa akin, that's what I find most exciting. And what about, sir, yung... Um marketing niyan hindi ba minsan ang nagiging problem ng artist dami ko nang nagagawa but you know the financial part of it that isn't it parang 50% of the problem i guess part of what made me uh, attractive to the market is i did not pursue it vigorously i mean of course i want to sell i have to make a living no but I never ran after buyers. The paintings are just there. If they want it, they can buy it. No? 
So kahit na nagugutom na ako, kahit na naghihirap ako, I never go parang you have to be proud. You have to be very proud when it comes to this. In the Philippines, it's a very small market and everybody knows everyone. And somehow, if you show compromises in your uh, in, in the uh, selling of your art, everyone will know. Uh, well, sometimes if you really are in deep need and then you have uh, a really good, I mean, a, a collector is really a good friend. No, pwede mo nang kausapin. But the, parang uh, keep it very private. Uh, that's one, no? Kasi the more you are perceived as uh, kind of uh, scarce in the market, uh, the more uh, collectors will desire your works. The other thing is you have to show people that you know what you're doing, no? Uh, one of the weakness, like there are a lot of really good artists and in terms of skills, no. Uh, but some artists are not able to show uh, people, especially like prospective collectors or buyers, na parang oh, yung kada nang ginawa mo ano yan? Uh, so big lang mapapatahimik ka, or sometimes uh, yung opposite naman, you say a lot of things that are not in the work, or ang dami-daming paliwanag hindi naman nakikita sa trabaho. Uh, so, minsan mas masama yan eh. It's better na to say just a few words than to say a lot of words than parang tipong ang nangyayari. Uh, Matiturn off patuloy yung ano mo, yung prospective buyer mo, no? Uh, one of the marketability of uh, local artists is when uh, someone would say, ah, you buy this artist, mabait yan. Mabait can mean different things. No? Uh, in the gallery context, uh, mabait usually means hindi mo sila kinocross. You don't show it the galleries and then you, sh you go directly to the collectors no? and then you sell your works at a lower price. Diba? Pagka nasira ka sa gallery, sisirain ka talaga nila. Yung ganon, no? Because they have a vast network and uh, they, they can destroy artists. If you're conscious of the dynamics in the art market, there is what you would call tiers, no? So, uh, yung upper tier uh, usually uh parang that's occupied by some of the mo uh, most noted uh, collectors and they would like to project themselves uh to be the snooty ones no? na, 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 they're oh. very uh, discriminating ito lang ang gusto namin this investment kasi i mean and carol you should know about this yes. but investment din eh alam mo kung uh, so parang they have invested heavily on certain artists uh, that they will commit themselves to keep raising the value no, of their works. And uh, uh, especially more in the case in, in the U.S., not diba? Kunyari, uh, during the auctions, uh, a lot of the collectors are also the ones who keep raising the, the prices of the uh, works by artists. Dahil marami sila noon, no? marami silang Basquiat. So, ibig sabihin, they will make sure that the price of Basquiat in the auctions will keep rising that's the money part of it huh? uh, and sometimes again not that it can be very seductive for the artist especially like if you you, you feel that you have a good prospect of being one of them bonus lang yun makabenta ka eh. but that's not what you do art for di ba? So I guess like in my case, parang masaya ako na somehow I'm able to sell some of my works uh, and it's enough to, you know, uh, provide me with a decent uh, uh, life, you know, I'm able to uh, parang provide for my family. So I'm, I'm happy with that, no? Pero that's not what I started art for, no? You know, parang it was... It was a, an intense compulsion that I just had to do. 
and then I realized that I had to do it because it was key to discovering myself. Uh, yung mga late starters, kamukha ni President Bush, di ba? Uh, it's not until after his retirement that he decided to be an artist. May nakita ka bang future niyan sa art scene? Marami naman eh. Uh, you, you have like uh, Oni Olmedo in the U.S. You have an old lady called Grandma Moses, no? Uh, siguro sa case ni George Bush. Wala na siyang magawa. So, you can only judge on the basis of their artwork. No? Uh, Cory Aquino, uh, after, uh, parang after her presidency, I did a lot of paintings. No? And it's a good uh, way to spend your time. <laughs> But <laughs> it's a good way to spend your time. When you're an artist, when you're an artist, when you're an artist, when you're an artist, <laughs> Kung mag-artist ka, dahil enjoy, uh, uh, mag-enjoy ka dyan, uh, ano yun eh, soul satisfaction yun eh. Yun, yun. yun. <laughs> Karamihan kasi na-frustrate yung artist dahil yung, yung inahanap na pagiging artist, magkapira sila. Eh, eh, karamihan man, eh, siyempre lahat man tayo kailangan natin ng pira eh. Pero iba yung, iba tong pinapasok natin eh, being an artist, Mahirap pag ano yun, pag sabayin yan, yung uh, trabaho, ayos yun ang trabaho mo, tapos iniisip mo rin paano ka magkapira na kung napakaano. Kasi karamihan dyan, <laughs> lalo na pag, pag na, na, nangano na yung tiyan mo, <laughs> doon, doon masusubukan yung ano, kung talagang ano ka, yung seryoso na, seryosong artist ka talaga. Pag nagutong ka na, eh, marami mga tem- uh, temptation dyan. Lalo na pag medyo may ano may nakakilala na sa iyo, marami mag-offer na yung sisirain yung presyo mo. So mga ganun. Uh, yeah. Yung life management is also crucial. No? Uh, marami sa mga artists, pag nakabenta ng painting, malaking halaga, mituwan-tuwa sila. Kinabukasan na yung tara. <laughs> um, uh, maraming artist ganyan, no? Uh, turns out, hindi ba siya nung maingan sa pandeling ganda? Uh, uh, one of the things I'm grateful for is uh, Ilocano tatay ko, eh. So, kasi kay Papa, na ba, part of uh, that trait uh, naman ako. Yung ganyan. And... Uh, So I, I, I've always made sure that whenever I make some money from my sales, no, that I would set aside a certain amount uh, for savings. And then I keep raising that amount no, each time I make a sale. So parang, uh, through time, I accumulate yan, And then you just keep uh, protecting that balance. No? So, and before you knew it, you realize that you are the one in control of your life. Uh, you don't buy things just because may pera ka. Na? Nakokontrol mo ngayon yung mga impulses mo. How to control your life. You learn how to be the one na, putting order in your life. You have to learn the connection between art and life. Na? Art is actually, or the life of the artist is actually uh, the life of the pursuit of order, no? kaayusan. Everything is in their proper place. No? Nasa tamang lugar yung color, nasa tamang kaayusan yung linya, di ba? Nasa tamang uh, lugar yung texture, yung highlight. Everything is in their proper place. Na, that the same principle applies to life. That's why you live a happy life because things are in their proper places. Kaya maayos ang lipunan dahil nasa tamang kaayusan ang mga bagay-bagay. And when things are not in the proper places, you have chaos, you have disorder. So art is not just what you do on the canvas, no? It is actually how you live your life and how that is projected no? in the different aspects of your life and the people who connect with you.